you've kind of done things backwards. Most um, most flanks got a hooker. <laughs> yeah. It's amazing because for the previous year or however long, two years that we brought Dion in, Rossi was always saying, this guy can play hooker for us, this guy can play hooker for us. So he was always practicing his throwing uh, along the way and it became a real reality when, when Malcolm got injured in, in training. Dion, I knew, always could make it. I coached Dion since he was 18. I, I, I gave him the nickname Brothers. And that's the thing, because I knew him as a hooker, he started playing for the Stormers as a hooker, not as a flank. We, we actually played him as a hooker that sometimes moved from hooker to flank at the back end of a game. So that's how I knew him. Uh, it's maybe not how other, uh, the, the public will remember him, they remember him as a flanker. I played flank at, at high school um, until standard nine. And then we had a, actually a, a strong uh, first team that year. And, and my coach back then said, yes, I would like to have you in the team as well, but there's already so much good players at flank. And then he moved me to Uka in Standard 9. Played Cohen Week two years in a row and went to Western Province, as signed me as a, as a hooker. And I only moved to flank in 2012 at the end of the Super Rugby season when we got a lot of injuries at, at flank. So I moved back to flank and then, yeah, went well that, that year as well, won the Curry Cup. And then I stayed at, at flank until I moved over, over to France, where I played one year Uka, one year flank, one year Uka. And then, yeah, the last year I played full on, full on Uka was 2018. I, I thought maybe they'll, they'll give me a shot in the Argentinian game or leading up to the World Cup that if we get in that position, I can, I can cover it. But I did a lot of training and, and scrumming and in, in training, but training and, and game is definitely not, not, not the same.